Okay, uh, today we're back and we're going to finish up our Kabuto, the helmet portion of our Kabuto Mempo. So, uh, I've got my uh, I've got my armor plates uh, wet formed and I've got the holes all punched and we're ready to go. So, we're going to just go ahead and throw on some rubber gloves here. Okay. Shake up your soup machine a little bit, make sure it's all mixed up. this helmet portion right quick and we put a generous coat of the super sheen on as always to start with until we get it fully coated and we're putting it on inside and out to waterproof the whole thing and we want to coat our edges real good waterproof it if you have any white spots, smooth them out. Okay, so there's the last, get these all super sheened up. So we're gonna let those dry for a little bit. While those are drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, uh, cut some cords. Okay, so we're gonna just use this uh, four millimeter uh, braided polypropylene cord. It's uh, supposed to be UV resistant so it, you know if you're out in the sun a lot with your samurai armor it's not going to fade too much. Okay so uh, for this for this project we need about 15 inch cords so I'm just going to measure 15 inches here on my with my uh, steel rule and uh, but here, here's the things you're going to need. You're going to need your steel rule or some other measuring device, a pair of scissors to cut this with, and a lighter to melt the ends so it's easier to lace when we go to lace it up. So that's uh, the things you're going to need for this part of the deal. So I'm going to measure 15 inches, I'm going to pinch it off, I'm going to pull that out, and I'm going to cut that off. Now all I have to do is pull this out, measure that, one more time and measure them out, cut these out. I could do that with yeah, you know, three pieces, four pieces, whatever. Now it just it just speeds up the process when you've got to cut a whole bunch of these. Okay, so I'm gonna take my lighter and I'm just gonna heat that end up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna melt it and turn it into hot burning plastic. I'm just going to heat it up so I can roll it in my fingers without burning my fingers. And the idea is I'm kind of making the end of it kind of like a, uh, a shoestring. You know how they put the, the plastic, except we're just making the end out of the plastic itself, out of the polypropylene. Okay, and that's what we're going to use to lace up our, uh, our plates on our helmet. And we're probably ready to do that now. Okay, uh, so before we uh, lace this up, I wanted to put in some hardware uh, to loop our chin strap around, and it's just these uh, D-rings attached to a little metal metal bracket there, and we're just going to rivet those into this hole that's, uh, that I punched in uh, before I had wet formed this. Alternatively, uh, if you don't have the hardware, you don't want to mess with the hardware, uh, uh, you can punch another, instead of punching the one hole for the rivet, you punch the two holes so that you can run your lace through those two holes and make yourself a chin strap. We've got them set in there and we're going to go ahead and uh, put our lace in. And the way we just come from the back. just like that. One more time. Pull them even. Keep it going along. Okay, so we have all our cord in, all the way around the, the, 
the top of the helmet and uh, we're going to get our next plate and the second plate has uh, rows of six that uh, you need to run off of uh, and you'll, I'll show you why. Okay, so we're just going to start at the middle here and we're going to run our lace straight down and come in through the back again and we're going to do that all the way around. And I'll just pull this in as I get there. Okay, so we've got our lace in on the top top holes of the row of six, and we've got that on all the way around. Now we're gonna we're gonna pull them up a little closer all the way around, kind of evenly, and then we're gonna see how it hangs. Okay, let's pull that down there because we wanna we wanna get it adjusted to where we want it hanging before we knot it up and everything. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move that aside. We're gonna take one and we're gonna take it diagonally and we're gonna put it through. And we're gonna take the other and we're gonna put it over the top and go diagonally through. Now we're gonna do that the same all the way around. So I'm gonna go do that one first and then the next one over the top to make a nice little kind of flatten those out a little bit now that one needs to be tightened up a little bit so we can tighten it up that one needs to be tightened up so side and do the same thing. Make sure we're doing it the same way. Put this one in first and then come over the top. Put this one in first and then we're coming over the top. Get in there. And just a little bit of that there. Now we're going to tighten that up. It's a little loose. Put a little tighter on that. A little tighter on that. A little tighter on those because once we, once we come through again, we're not going to be able to tighten them up very easily without doing a lot of cinching of here and there. Alright, now, on the back side, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to come through, and we're going to go, and then we're going to come back out. And this will secure our plates pretty well together with, uh, we've got seven sets of cords. pieces coming out from the top there all the way around and now we'll get our last plate and the last plate always has uh, rows of four going around we only have four holes 
okay because we're just going to come we're going to come out and then back in again and then we're going to tie this off okay we're finishing up here coming in from the back and uh it's important to make sure you don't you don't crisscross these coming down from your next plate. We don't want those crisscross. They come straight down. It's you know, and it's easy to get them mixed up, or even to get a, a lace from the other hole in the wrong place. So especially when you're dealing with a long lace. These aren't very long, so that's they're a little easier to work with. And we're just going to pull them out evenly all the way around. And we're going to make sure that we we do the same crisscross that we did on the on the plate above. Above, and so this one goes through first. Okay, so you can see that uh, we have our lace. It comes down straight from the one plate. We crisscross it over. Comes straight, and we crisscross it over in the back too, and then comes straight down, and then we crisscross it over, and we're going to tie it off on the back. And notice that I've got my lace crisscrossing. That I've got the one coming from over here on top, from over here on top to create a pattern. We're gonna when we come down from the next one, we do crisscross it over. That actually secures it better. And at the end, we've just got we've got just enough to tie this off. And we're gonna tie this off in a knot here. get in there. Okay, so we're, we've got the square knot tied and that's what we end up with at the end. Uh, you could even melt the ends here together with your lighter and, and then have that, you know, kind of permanent. Uh, so we're just going to go around and, and do that on the rest and then uh, we'll have a look at the finished piece. Okay, so we've got it all laced up here and uh, Looking like a samurai kabuto, of course. That's what we're going for. Uh, as you can see, I've just got everything tied off on the back side with a simple square knot. Nothing fancy about it. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how we uh, braid up some uh, cord to make our chin strap. We're going to uh, braid some uh, braided cord and uh, to make our chin strap. And I've got some uh, thicker six millimeter black, and I've, then I've got my four millimeter navy blue. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to measure out a piece. This is going to be fairly long because it, it knots. We've got special knots to tie. Uh, when you go to make it look like samurai armor. So we're going to measure out four foot. Eight foot. And I'm going to give myself like an extra four foot for the braiding that's going to go on. So I'm going to go ahead and Pinch that off. Since I need two of them, I'm going to go ahead and pull my cord through my hands until I, let's see, shh, shh, shh. let's do that again. Make sure we got it right. And there we cut it off. center and then we get it off. And then of course we melt it on the ends. Alright so we've got our uh, two pieces of cord cut. We've got the six millimeter black and the four millimeter blue and we've got them at the at the center in a loop and we're going to put that loop through our D-ring here, like so. And then we're going to take our ends and we're going to come through 
all the while trying to keep that center mark. Okay, so I'm going to pull my uh, uh, two blue cords in the middle. I'm going to have my two bigger black cords on the outside. All right, and then I'm going to bring this one over. And then this one goes over that. And then back over. This is a simple braid. Nothing, nothing too extravagant here. Uh, it's if you're not getting it here with me, just go online and find find out how to do a braid. It's it's real easy. It's just an over under over under sort of uh, activity, and then you end up with something that looks like this. And that's going to be our uh, finished chin strap. Okay, so now that we've got a, a nice long braid for our chin strap, and we've kind of got to a point here uh, where this we we got to tie them off. We're just going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to come around with a loop, a loop the loop, and we're going to pull it nice and tight. We're not going to cut them off yet. We're going to wait until we get the other chin strap and make sure that we've, we've got them even. So we'll go ahead and braid the next one out uh, and we'll be right back. Okay, we have uh, both of our uh, chin straps uh, braided. We're going to straighten them out a little bit. Uh, you just make sure that you've got both of them about the same length. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but yeah, those are about the same length. And then we uh, just cut off the uh, uh, the uneven ends. And if you want to, you can come in and melt these in so they don't fray. Don't really need to because they're secured by the knot and they're not going to go anywhere. So that's it. And then it goes on. You just tie it up under your chin on your mempo I believe let's see here in such a fashion as it kind of that's the decorative look whatever so Anyway, there you have it. Uh, that completes our helmet portion of the Kabuto in the Samurai series. Um, next up, we're going to uh, show you how to build the Mempo, one of these guys. And you know, might, we might do a bird, we might do the angry man. Uh, we could even do uh, just a, a solid face mask sort of thing. We'll we'll decide, and maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do a video on a number of them and how to make different different styles. Anyway, that's what's up on our next video. Um, stay tuned for for more. I just wanted to uh, take this time now to uh, thank all my subscribers and uh, all the people checking us out. If you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button especially if you want to see more because we're going to do a whole uh, complete samurai series um, and if you like this video hit the like button and uh, tell everybody you know about us and uh, come on over and learn how to make some samurai armor for yourself thanks and until next time Art of Warriors <laughs>